What's up, guys? Low Life Spider and Miller Girl 15 here. Hi, everybody. And welcome to the shortest month of the year. February. February. 28 the, days. Home of Valentine's Day. 28 days this month. But uh, don't worry, because you can get these games from February 7th until March 7th, so you have a full like month there to get them. And first up is Torquel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It looks like it. Uh, it's for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. It looks simple, but it's very complicated. The colors correlate to the buttons on the PlayStation controller. Yep. And it can be very complicated. It, it definitely can be. Like, you think you're going to push this button, but if you roll just like a centimeter too far, you push the other one or something like that, and it and sends you in the lava. Uh, there's 50 chambers in the game with seven different routes that you can take along the way uh, with an additional hidden route, and each one of them gets increasingly harder in difficulty. There's lava everywhere, there's spikes everywhere, there's gravity things that shoot you up into the ceiling. And if you're on the ceiling and you're pushing like to the right, once you hit the ceiling, it'll send you back the other way if you're continuing to hold right down. What kind of game would it be if it didn't get harder? Yeah, it, it definitely would be an easy game. <laughs> It'd be a crappy game. <laughs> up next, we have Anna Extended Edition, and it is available on the PlayStation 3. I think this is trying to be a scary game, but it's definitely not scary, but it's creepy as... F-U-C-K. <laughs> Creepy as... <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely supposed to be scary. It's classified as a first-person psychological horror game. It kind of, like, messes with your brain more than anything, I guess. There's a lot of puzzles. Yeah, it's uh, kind of like you, you need to combine items to make other items to proceed into the game and stuff like that. Uh, you play as a man who has amnesia, and he constantly dreams of this sawmill, and so he ends up going to the sawmill that is in town, uh, trying to figure out what his dreams are trying to tell him. And that's the most clear and see-through, non-reflective puddle I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just looks like there's nothing there, and then... Kinda. All of a sudden, there's foam, which looks like clouds, and then a tree. Yeah. You uh, a tree. There's multiple endings, including one that you can get just by leaving the sawmill as soon as you enter it. So it's like, you walk in, oh, hell no. You turn <laughs> around and you just leave. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> Uh, and if collecting PlayStation trophies is your thing, this game is for you. It is a pretty easy completion. I think it takes like around five to eight hours to complete, but uh, it's a pretty easy one. Up next is Ninja Sankey DX, and it is available on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. Lots of runner, platformer type of games. Yeah, this, this, one, month. this one reminds me of uh, Mega Man a lot. I see that. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, with the, Especially in the, like, the jump animation. He sticks his one leg down while the other one's up in the air. Um, me and Mega Man aren't that close. Oh, I, I loved me some Mega Man when I was a kid. Uh, but this game made me want to rage quit. <laughs> I hated it. Like, I don't know if it's just because I haven't played a game like this in a while, but I I just wanted to quit because I kept dying over and over and over again. Um, it'll traverse through 16 different scenes, each with their own unique enemies and bosses. So, like, here I'm fighting flames Froggy and froggies. frogs. And then there's like guys swamp in swamp gas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's guys in in turtle shells and demons. Um, basically, Princess Kinu Hime has been slain, and now you, uh, your guy's name is Hayate, and he's trying to get revenge. So he has to go through these sixteen different scenes. Always oh, doing crap for a lady. Yeah, I keep wanting to say scenes. Seems? Scenes. 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 Up next, we have Not a Hero, and it is available on the PlayStation 4. This one reminds me of another one that we did a few months back. Broforce? Yes, Broforce! <laughs> I have that in the notes right there. Um, yeah, it definitely reminded me of Broforce. There's characters that you can unlock that kind of remind you of other characters from movies. Like, uh, there's a guy named Clive, and I think he's, he's reminiscent of, um, uh, what's the brothers? The Boondock Saints. You haven't even seen that movie. No, I have not, but I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have. Uh, anyways, Not a Hero is a two and a quarter D cover-based shooter. Because it's, what the heck it, is that? It's kind, it looks kind of 3D, but it's kind of like a quarter. Yeah, it's... It's only half a D? Uh, it's just, No, it's a quarter. It's, it's a quarter? It's, it's one a fourth. one third D? One fourth of but a D. But it's 3D, so one fourth no, D. No, no. Anyway, <laughs> Bunny Lord is a rabbit sent from the future that is now running for mayor in order to save the world from alien invasion, and he recruits nine characters 
uh, so that you, he may re- uh, rid the city of crime. Who doesn't want a freaking bunny for a mayor? Goddamn right. <laughs> uh, you start playing as Steve, but like I said, you can unlock additional Steve. characters. Steve just has like a balaclava on, like a ski mask, and he has a pistol. That's a fancy name for a stupid piece of cloth. Yep. And uh, <laughs> like the next guy, like Cletus, he has a shotgun that can blow open Cletus. doors. <laughs> Uh, each mission has a primary goal and two secondary goals, which are usually ra- uh, completely random, like uh, collecting lamps. That it, he or, loves lamps. <laughs> or, or, yeah. or saving dogs. There's there's one where you can save dogs, too. Puppies. Up next, we have Starwall, and it is available on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. This game really shouldn't require much of an introduction or explanation. If you're an Achievement Hunter fan, you definitely know what this game yeah, is. Yeah, they've played it so many times, including some of them they played with, like, Rufio from Hook and Rufio. Airbender. Yeah. Last Airbender, he was uh, Zuko. Zuko, Prince Zuko. The love-to-hate villain. Yes. Uh, Star Wall is a local multiplayer game in which you play as a space narwhal, and uh, you kind of like want to stab each other in the hearts with your your horn. I guess you could call it. Yeah, it's a horn. It's it's not a nose. It's a horn. Uh, you can customize your narwhal with 90 plus different costumes, including ones from some of your favorite game series such as Dark Souls or Mega Man. You like you can even put like a cat head on or a bear head, and just crazy different items that you can put on your narwhal. So you can turn your narwhal into a non-narwhal by turning it into a bear. Or a cat. Or a cat. Or you can turn or, their horn into a sword. Or other amazing things. Lightsaber. Yeah, you can do lightsabers. Everything with a you, lightsaber you can put is a, better with a lightsaber. You can put a laser pointer <laughs> on your narwhal. Oh, that's uh, y- nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> you can even customize your narwhal with a rider, including some of your favorite achievement hunters. There's different levels, um, lots of different game types you could play. Obviously, like this is lava and with some ice and stuff, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Go check it out. And last but not least, we have Little Big Planet 3, and it is available on the PlayStation 4. This is definitely an easygoing, kind of fun, kind of game. You, can, you game. can definitely lay back and play it. It's it's not stressful no at all. Uh, Little Big Planet 3 is a puzzle platformer heavily based around creation, meaning you can like cr- heavily customize your own character. You can create your own worlds, create your own stickers, and just... The You're whole Nathan Drake, are you? I'm dressed as Nathan Drake in this, yes. Iron Fingers, Nathan Drake. Yes, because he can hold on to anything. Uh, it is very similar to the other two games, so if you have played either of them, you know what you're getting into. Uh, except this one introduces three new characters that you can ch- end up like changing into. Adsak, who's like a dog character, he can uh, run fast and climb up walls or jump wall jump or something like that. Uh, Swoop is a bird-like character who can fly freely around the levels and pick up other characters, except for the next character he can't pick up. Uh, Toggle. Toggle can toggle (laughs) between big and little versions of himself. So, like, he can weigh down switches if he's a big one, or he can fit through small areas if he's a small one. That's why the bird can't pick him up, because he's a fat ass. Yeah, he can pick up the (laughs) small one, though, I guess. He just can't pick up the big one. Uh, in the story, you are unwillingly you unwillingly release three titans, and it is now up to you, Adsak, Swoop, and Toggle to capture them before they destroy the world of Bunkum. I'd say unknowingly. Y- well, yeah, unknowingly. I mean, the the other you character get you get tricked into releasing them is what happens by a character played by uh, Doctor House himself. Yeah, like, I really like that guy. I can't. Remember. He was in 100, 101 Dalmatians. Hugh something. It's Hugh something. Hugh Laurie. There we go. I don't know why that was escaping my mind. Anyway, those are the six free games that you can get for the month of February 2017. I enjoyed them. There's actually quite a bit of fun games there for you. And as always, see you next month. Have fun platforming.